From the very first punch, Sifu is utterly uncompromising in its design. Absolver developer Slowclap's latest martial arts beat em up is bold. Its combat exquisite, its animation top notch, its music outstanding, and its story, while very simple, is poignant and elegantly told. Sifu begins, as so many revenge fueled martial arts stories do, with a murder. Your father and martial arts master is killed right before your eyes. Eight years later, you set off on a journey to kill each of the five people involved. You begin with very little information about your targets, but over the course of the campaign you start to piece together who they are and what they're all about by collecting clues and evidence throughout each level. There are two attack buttons that you can go between for a variety of combos, each with their own specific function, a guard button for blocks, parries, and sways, a button for vaulting over objects in the environment. A button to pick up weapons, a button to throw weapons, and a focus button that lets you use a variety of unblockable special attacks with their own effects, all tied to a focus meter. While the hand-to-hand -hand fisticuffs are great, Sifa really sets itself apart from other beat MUPS through its use of environmental combat. It's great that the enemy AI in Sifu is aggressive enough to really force you to master these deep defensive mechanics. They do not just hang around and wait their turn, they will leap in with Superman punches. You will die along your quest, and the way Sifu handles death is truly unique, with the help of a magical talisman, you'll be able to revive right from where you keeled over and continue fighting, but you'll age up by however many years your current death counter is at. So while your first few deaths may only age you up by just one, two, or three years, if you continue dying to the same enemy or boss you'll quickly find yourself aging by five, six, seven years or more each time you go down. The aging isn't just for show, either. Every time you age 10 years your maximum health will shrink but you'll deal a little more damage, as your body becomes more frail but your skills and experience become sharper. Once you hit your 70s, the magic of your talisman will run out, and the next time you die, it's game over. The catch is that when it's game over, all of your skills reset to zero. There is some roguelite style persistent progression, though, in that you can make a skill a permanent fixture on your loadout once you've bought it a total of 6 times.